Good morning. I am taking Skye to her last ever day of school in Italy. She's got a 15 to 20 minute oral ex exam where she has to give a presentation on every single subject that she's studied over the last three years and link them all to the second industrial revolution, which I think is pretty difficult, but uh, she's been preparing for a while. So hopefully it will all go okay. And then she'll be done. Stopped off to buy some cherries. Love this shop. So it's Mardis's last day today. We're going over to Fornillo to Ferdinando's for a nice lunch with some friends. The fountain's not working today. Look at these hydrangeas, they're like candy floss. They're beautiful. As pretty as a picture. The sun's gone in though, it's very warm. Oh, that sounds good. Really weird weather day today. It was really sunny until we came down to the beach, and now it's gloomy, but it's really hot and humid. It's quite nice. Hi, hiking buddy. Hi, hiking buddy. Hi, hiking buddy. How's Leslie's mom doing? Still hanging. That's me. A little side one, and the seafood is warm. Yes. Guido's going to take us back on the boat. Just what the doctor ordered. The sun went in at lunchtime and it's been very hazy since, but it's actually been really nice. It's lovely temperature. And we had a lovely afternoon with friends, with lunch, and now we're just going for a little walk on the beach and then we're going to do a bit of shopping. Americans who presume that we don't understand a word that they're saying. I just heard you say that my dog looks like the never-ending story dog. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say earlier, Sky finished her exams. She got a 10 in English, she got a 9 in French, she did really, really well, and that's it. She's so she's officially graduated from middle school in Italy. And that's it. As of September, she'll be off to England for school. We're going out to dinner. We're going to La Praia in Praiano, which is down on the beach, and a nice fish restaurant if he comes out. He's just gone back in to put cream on his legs. What sort of and we'll just quickly stop on the way to prune an olive tree. As you do. <laughs> Somebody's having a party. First stop at Ligali Bar for drinks. Here. So Carlo's just calling his mummy to say, Mummy, if you look, you can see us, because she's right up there. But she's
is La Praia. This is where we're going for dinner. Unfortunately, ignore Freddy, it's getting dark. So I can't really show you what we're eating, but this is an antipasto seafood starter. Doggy walk time. It's very dark. Too dark. Morning guys. Seriously though, this is a major viewpoint of Positana. We can't see a thing today. It's completely covered in fog or sea mist. Okay, we're down a bit further. It's a little bit better. You can see the town's still there. It hasn't been taken over by zombie mists over the overnight. Anyway, I'm off to work. Okay, the fog, the fog's starting to clear. This is the entrance to where I'm going and that is Cap directly in front of us. So as usual we're a little bit early. I've just met up with the hairdressers. We're gonna have a wander around. So this hotel is really in the middle of nowhere. It's on the very point of the peninsula with Capri in front but it's really beautiful. running away. I haven't done the bride yet and she just should have been here 20 minutes ago. Yuck. Close your eyes. Your hand looks really good, sir. You look amazing. So, Billy, tell her that was my hand. Yeah, so mind. it needs to cover your forehead. About there? I think yeah, someone's got it. So Suki looked absolutely amazing. It was a real pleasure to do that. I finished and I thought I'd come and have a look at the pool and the view. Look at that. And there's nobody here. I could probably sit up here all day because the whole hotel has been hired out for the wedding and they've all gone now. Should I stay or should I go? The hotel vegetable gardens. This hotel, by the way, is the Relay Blue in uh, Massalobrenza, just near Sorrento. Where am I going? Back down to the car park. Well, I'm pleased to see that the fog's gone. There's Positano in the distance. I'm heading home now. And I'm driving all through the peninsula to get back there. And there's Naples in the distance. 